What up guys, it's your boy Wind here, and I have another uh, collab video with uh, a friend of mine. You've seen him on this channel maybe a couple times. Actually, I'm not really sure if I ever got around to posting those. Well, anyway, sorry about the audio quality. And wow, I'm talking really fast right now. So, um, yeah, here is uh, okay, the so story. The other day, I was hanging out at my friend's house. I'm actually with him right now. And we were uh, playing some GTA. He totally trashed the shit out of his shoes. So we decided to put them into the wash. Were trashed for various reasons, really stupid reasons, that's something only my friends would do, such as, you know, bong under a tree. <laughs> so anyways, um, he throws these shoes into the wash, and uh, what happened, Jack? They got muddy. Yes, exactly, like I said, you put them in the wash, and then what happened while we were playing, um, Grand Theft Auto? Okay, so we closed the wash, and then... We start. We put it on our deep clean, and then we started hearing like squeaking noises in all of the clothes. And I thought it might have been my cat because she found a new hiding spot. So that could have been her hi new hiding spot. So I was freaking the freak out, and uh, yeah, I, I stopped the wash. Now I was afraid to go through all the clothes because I thought I might come across my dead cat. Yeah. So then I'm like, dude, let's just ignore it. And then I <coughs> like. Dude, I think your cat's in there. So I run over and start tearing through it, and you, you made me do it all. <laughs> you made me dig through it. <coughs> Freaking well, kit cat, dude. Yeah. That cat's a bitch. I remember when you first got them, she was bigger than Snickers, their, your friendly cat. And she'd always, like, beat him up and screech at him and, like, hiss at him and stuff. But then, she, and she was, like, a social one, too. But then she kind of just became like a real loser and she'd just like fucking hide all the time behind the washing machine. Then she'd hide in the couch and to get her out we'd and like Snickers. shake the couch. We'd shake your couch, dude. Lift it up and stuff. The other cat got almost twice her size. Dude, <laughs> now she's a super small cat. She is really small. She's like underweight. Like She hides so much. She's like anorexic. Yeah, right? So, like when she like fucking dies, it's gonna die behind like the wa- You're like, um... <laughs> to hide your... Freaking water here. It's just gonna be all shriveled up because it didn't eat. <laughs> yeah. Ew. It's gonna die behind there. It's gonna You're be gonna like know. a Draugr from Skyrim. <laughs> Zombie cat. <laughs> the, you're not gonna know it went missing. It's gonna just be behind your thing rotting, and you're gonna have to like smell it, and then you're gonna discover your dead cat, and have to some have somebody remove your water heating machine so they could remove Kit Kat out of it. Yeah. Like, Yo, dude. You know what would be really cool? Hmm. If there were Draugr dogs in uh, Skyrim. There are, dude. No, there's not. Yeah, they're called uh, Death Hounds, I think. No. No, I'm serious. Part of the, um, the DLC and... Dragonborn? Not Dragonborn, it's the one before it. <coughs> Dawnguard. Dawnguard, yeah. Dude, yeah, I want yeah. Dawnguard really bad. You gotta get it. It's a really cool DLC. I beat all of the... Uh, Campaigns on uh, Skyrim and then a Dragonborn. Really? Yeah. You didn't know I did? Dude, I freaking played that game like every day in seventh grade. Same. I remember like uh, my mom, she like she would uh, be paid to babysit you and Julia, even though she wasn't there most of the time. So we'd just be hanging out in my room every single day after school playing Skyrim. Yeah, I beat the campaign by myself too on, on Xbox. I remember we just fuck around and kill a bunch of random shit. Yeah. We went, like, dragon slaying like crazy. Dude, I told you, we can go through here.